Mm -hmm. Now we're talking keto with Heather Carr. And um, keto, like you were just explaining to us, this is fish. First of all, Alex loves fish. Yes, I've got all the questions. This, this is, this is for you, girl. <laughs> this is for you, girl. So um, I want to start by uh, what, what's on the bottom of the plate. Okay, so okay. it's easy to stick sauce on top of everything at the end, mm -hmm. um, but it kind of negates the point. So this is a crispy fish. Uh, it's called a barramundi. So it's a sea bass. Oh. Um, mm. It is much, much lower in fat and calories than like a piece of salmon. I didn't um, know that. And it's just a little bit healthier for you. And, and like I, you know, I explained, skin on is kind of the way to go. Not only is it protecting the beautiful flesh of the fish while you're cooking it, but it also adds adds um, additional nutrition in mm. the skin itself. Um, okay. The sauce on the bottom um, is actually a demi, so it's a blackberry demi. Mm. Uh, I made it with only vegetables. So normally a demi is made with something like beef or veal stock um, that adds okay. that nat natural thickener, but you, yeah. can, you can tell like right under, it's pretty thick. Um, so we just use a little bit of fruit pectin actually to thicken it, and it has oh. about 10 different vegetables in it um, huh. that you cook down over a long period of time. You can make it and freeze it and put it in your freezer and it's good for a long time. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then the asparagus, you know, just a great form of nutrition. Uh, you know, I like to grill it, a little olive oil, salt and pepper. Um, mm. I actually used avocado oil on the outside of the asparagus. Mm. Um, it has a little bit lower of a smoking point, but when you're on keto, you really want those healthier fats. Um, versus like an right, so extra they don't virgin. mind butter and oils and oh good no, things in you keto. you we want, want high protein okay. uh, or excuse me, moderate protein mm -hmm. and high fat. Um, and then you know on top uh, we have a little pea shoot salad, so or pea sprout rather. So I was explaining uh, to you both earlier, but pea sprouts. Um, Legumes and beans are not welcome in the keto diet. A little controversial, um, but the stems and leaves are actually highly nutritious. So ah. the beans are a little bit harder for your body to break down, mm -hmm. um, but the nutritional value behind the stems and you know the leaves, which is essentially what a pea um, sprout is, it adds value sure. to it. Yeah. From a cooking standpoint, because this fish looks so amazing, how crispy, how do you get that like crispy skin, but then the tender fish underneath? Yeah, so um, I said earlier, we used beef tallow when we were cooking this down. So in the pan, you use it much like you would like butter or you mm -hmm. know an olive oil, you let it melt. It's, it is a, a little bit thick at, at room Where do temperature. Where you find it? Um, I actually like to make it. Oh, okay. Um, I'm you like, can, how do you so there's nothing that? we can just like grab no, it you, all foods. No, you can absolutely, you can okay, absolutely good. buy it. Um, <laughs> I'm not making it. No, you can definitely <laughs> buy it. Whole Foods, okay. Whole Foods has like four different varieties oh, of okay. beef tallow. Okay. I like to make it, but you're rendering the fat down until it's very concentrated. So all we do is place the fish um, skin side down in the pan mm -hmm. once it's very, very hot, and you basically just want to let it let it be. That's okay. the problem with fish. Crispy skin means I let, I let it be for a while. The only thing I did to this piece of fish was turn it over once, that's it. Wow. So while it was in the pan, I let it sit there um, and crisp up and then turned it over and all, you know, it's a pretty thin white fish, so all I did was turn it over and let it finish off the stove on the pan, so. Oh, okay, and this is dry crusted as well with those herbs? Uh, this is actually all the regular skin of itself. This really? is the, the color, the coloration is, uh, it's beautiful. Like it's a really Such elegant a piece of fish. It is. It's yeah. pretty fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no, I, some pretty of them aren't that pretty. Yeah, that's pretty fish. <laughs> yeah, this is something that, you know, you're gonna have to search for. Barramundi is not as common, but you can usually find it at Whole Foods, um, and I've actually seen it at Sprouts once or twice as well. What's just a flavor profile like substitute for this if we can't find it? Flavor profile substitute, any style of like Japanese, sea bass, sea bass, um, okay. sea bass um, yeah, like a nice light white fish. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't recommend anything that has like any higher in the fat content because you're really trying to consolidate the flavors um, to some of the beef tallow being incorporated into the dish. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Keto, Whole30, thank you, Chef Heather thank Carr. Thank you. We both. appreciate it, motivating us a little bit. We can do this, even yes. on the weekend. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can.